The Seymour interface is designed to make scanning as simple as possible. The screen is divided into three sections. The top left section is the imaging section and you can see this happens to be a liver and a gallbladder. We've got an asterisk which is the orientation marker and it corresponds to the button on the probe. We've got a depth scale. The second section contains patient information and scan information. And the third section includes the imaging controls. When you first launch Seymour, the first thing you'll see is the auto scan, which is the default. It's very, very simple. You can adjust the intensity or the contrast according to your taste. You can change frequency and depth from here, but we suggest you select a preset. This happens to be the liver preset because if you choose this automatic setting, you'll get a good image every time. The scan freeze button allows you to begin scanning or freeze the scan, but you can also, as I said, push the button on the probe or the spacebar. And the cine button allows you to play any recorded cine loops. There are also controls here for saving and loading both static images and cine images. The next tab is the advanced scan tab, and here we have controls that allow you to adjust the gain in the near field, the mid field, and the far field, and it also includes the same intensity and contrast controls. This is a way you can fine tune your image quality. The new exam tab allows you to put in the patient name and other demographic information, including notes, and you can use presets so when you move from facility to facility or different clinician scan you don't have to type it in each time you can just use the preset and when you're ready to start scanning just click on start exam and it will create a patient folder with the name you've input make sure to click stop start exam after you're finished scanning so you'll close the study the preferences tab allows you to input different facility names clinician names and change other parameters such as the grid line depth and where you store the images. And finally the measurement tab allows you to do simple things like distance measurement. You right click, drag and release. You get a distance and I can do as many of these as I like. We can also measure area, put on pointers and annotate. And we have advanced calculation packages for OB and urology as well. So thank you very much for watching and please refer to your user manual for more information.